Hello, in this video we will discuss WorkflowEngine.net. What is it? What are its key features? And how can you use it? WorkflowEngine.net is a component that you can use to add workflow functionality to your application. Our product has the following key features. Quick and easy integration with new or legacy applications. High performance. Graphical HTML5 based process scheme designer. Support for six different database systems MSSQL, PostgreSQL, MongoDB, Oracle, MySQL, and RavenDB. Can be either integrated within your application or deployed as a separate service. A flexible approach to versioning of existing process schemes. Automatic generation of inbox and outbox folders for specific users. Manual generation or modification of process schemes. Other useful features. Integration with applications. Create a database and execute scripts from the associated provider. Create and configure workflow runtime. Create the designer. WorkflowEngine.net is now ready to use. Definitions of key terms for WorkflowEngine.net. A scheme is a description of the entire process. It consists of a set of activities connected by transitions. Activity. A representation of the document status can contain one or more actions. Action contains method calls that are executed once the process reaches a specific activity. Transition Transition between activities can be executed automatically or triggered by a command or timer. May also contain conditions to help organize the branches of the work process. Command A user command or an external event that triggers a transition. Timer an internal event that triggers a transition at a specified time or after a specified time period. Actor, a rule that restricts access to a command. Designer or scheme creation. In the designer, you can create a whole process scheme or modify one. Our designer is a combination of JavaScript and a simple web service, which is why you can integrate it into any web project. The designer is compatible with all current browsers. We use our own model for notation, which is more compact and better adapted to developers' needs than BPMN 2.0. You can edit simple code right in the designer. Interaction with process via workflow runtime. To interact with a process instance, a few main functions of workflow runtime are used. They are pretty basic. Create instance. Creates a new process instance. Get current state. Returns the name of a current process instance state. Get current activity name returns the name of a current process instance activity. Get available commands returns the list of commands available for the process instance. Execute command executes a specified command. Get available state to set returns the list of available states that can be assigned to the process instance. Set state sets a new state for the process instance. Workflow Runtime also contains other functions and events that can be used to interact with a process instance. Interaction with external applications WorkflowEngine.net does not have a built-in security system. This is actually great, because it means you can integrate it with any security system you have. This can be done via rules that can be implemented in iWorkflow Rule Provider or in the designer using code action. To call an external method, you can either use iWorkflow Action Provider or call it directly from the designer using code action. Workflow Server If you want to deploy WorkflowEngine.net outside your application, you can use Workflow Server. It is a separate HTTP service that contains workflow runtime. There are three types of API. Workflow API implements basic operations from workflow runtime. Designer API implements the designer's server interface. Callback API used to call external methods such as external implementations of iWorkflow Rule Provider, iWorkflow Action Provider, etc. Calls use HTTP POST. Workflow Server is open source and you can modify it to your needs. Other features WorkflowEngine.net also contains a number of other functions. Parallel branches, timers, History of state changes, tracking, automatic generation of inbox outbox folders, parameters that can be saved to a database, process scheme versioning, and more. 
Our customers frequently ask us if we have a form constructor. Well, we have a form constructor, but not in WorkflowEngine.net. The form constructor is included in another product, DWKit, which uses WorkflowEngine.net. You can find additional information in the documentation section of our website or on our blog. The blog regularly publishes new articles describing how to use WorkflowEngine.net.